Hey, what's up, guys? I've got this stakeout gameplay for you guys today. Um, it's uh, it's a gun that I've been trying out and playing a little bit with. I before Black Model Fair Three came out, I played Black Ops a lot. Okay, like heaps. Um, but I pretty much always stuck to Stoner, um, AK74U, Org. Occasionally, I use the Famous. Um, I know the Famous is like the most popular gun in that game, but. Um, I actually prefer the org over the famous. I know, I know a few people did, but uh, I just I don't know why. I just preferred like the org's recoil, like the way it actually dealt with recoil. Um, it was a little less unpredictable than the famous, but I still liked it. Um, and I pretty much never touched the shotguns. Like I think maybe I tried the dual, the dual ones that you can akimbo. You know those ones. I can't remember what they're called now, but pretty much didn't touch them at all. Then, of course, Modern Warfare 3 came out, and as soon as that came out, I stopped playing Black Ops entirely. And now, you know, I'm getting a bit hyped for Mod uh, for Black Ops 2, so I thought, you know, why not go back to the game that started it all and, um, and you know, see how it was again. Like, play it again, you know, for a bit of nostalgia, a bit of fun. And um, so that's what I've been doing. I was just, like, basically for the last couple of, like, weeks now, two, three weeks, I've been playing some Black Ops. And, um... You know, I remembered back to when I was doing the KSG reload cancelling video, um, and when I got my MOAB with the KSG. Um, I was like doing some reload cancelling, my brother had told me about it, and I was practicing it and stuff. And uh, around that time, we also spoke about Black Ops, and the fact that there's also a gun in um, Black Ops that has reload cancelling. I didn't know, you know, I'd, I'd never used like the stakeout at all. Um, but my brother Corpse Great said, you know, yeah, you, know, you can reload cancel the stakeout, it's just not as effective as it is with the KSG, because the um, the pump action, so to speak, isn't as uh, isn't as long as the KSG, so it's not as effective. It's still good though, you know, if you can do it, it's still good. So I thought, yeah, you know, I'll um, I'll try it out, see what see what it's like, and it's it is pretty good actually. I mean, it sucks that it's only got four shots before you have to like reload, but other than that, I mean, it's it's pretty damn good. Um, I noticed one thing about the shotguns though is that the range on all the shotguns in Black Ops is way less than on um, Modern Warfare 3, but um, yeah, other than that, I mean, like the spread also seems to be more. I'm not sure if that's um, if that's true though. I don't know. Um, overall, you know, I still prefer the KSG because it's better. But um, yeah, it's interesting. I quite like it. So I mean, if you guys are asking what I'm talking about here with reload cancelling and whatever, you may not have seen my KSG video. Go back and check out my Moab with every gun. Uh, episode with of the KSG, and in that one I actually talk about what reload cancelling is, but basically it is just um, cancelling your reload action, uh, or, the, or rather the, the pump action that's between reloads, uh, so between shots, sorry, and um, it uh, basically allows you to shoot faster, and you'll see a few times in this gameplay. Now, I know this gameplay is not all that good, um, but this is probably like one, one of the first time, this is one of the matches that I had when it was like the first time I used the stakeout. Um, so I've gotten a little better even even since then, but it's pretty much the same thing. You just shoot, then you um, go to push reload, then you run straight afterwards, and it'll cancel the uh, the cocking action so you can shoot quicker. And that's pretty much it. I didn't even get higher score in this gameplay. It's just a um, it's just a. I thought it was a bit entertaining because I do a few pretty cool shots. I don't know there was a guy earlier that sort of jumped off the balcony and I shot him midair, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah. Not too bad. I can't believe that guy didn't die. Oh man, that was like so obvious. Should have killed him. I think it was one of these guys. And that's the reason why I die here, because I thought there was only one person in this corner, not two. But anyway, um, so yeah, look, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Uh, the video's almost over anyway, so look, thanks for watching, and um, have a good day.